coming into a nice, comfortable seated position. Hands resting on your knees. And we're just going to take a couple grounding breaths here as you inhale. I want you to fill the lungs. Exhale. I want you to close down the eyes. Relax the shoulders. Leaving whatever you need to behind just for these next 12 minutes. And then bringing into your awareness your dedication for your practice today. Feeling into your body as you take those nice full breaths. Noticing how good it feels to just simply breathe. Maybe starting to activate your ujjayi breath. Or just simply breathing however is comfortable for you. As you exhale, start to release the chin down towards the chest, lengthening either side of the spine. Remember, just allow gravity to do the work here. Rolling the right ear around to the right shoulder, lengthening out the left side of the mat. We're just going to bring gentle movement in as we bring the chin back down to the chest, the left ear, the left shoulder. And we're just going to keep rolling those half rolls just like that. Start to feel that space opening up and breathe right into the back of the neck. Now you can continue with these half circles or if it feels all right for your neck, you can start to make full circles all the way around to the back. Keep moving in the same direction here. And then pause left ear, left shoulder, and start working around the other direction. And the next breath, bringing the chin back down to the chest. Inhale, bringing the head back up to a neutral position, gently blinking open the eyes. And then bringing your arms into those cactus arms. As you inhale, open the chest, gaze goes up. As you exhale, round the upper back, bring the elbows together, gaze goes down. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the upper back, look down. Last time, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the elbows together. Inhaling, we're just going to move all the way up into a tabletop position. And then start to work right into our cat cow. So as we inhale, drop the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round from the tailbone, pushing right through to the upper back. Gaze goes down. Two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round. For the next two rounds of breath, just moving the upper body in any direction it's asking for, maybe making big barrel rolls in the rib cage. Sink into the hips, dip into the shoulders. Just listen to your body. Stay with your breath. And then whenever you're ready, bringing the knees as wide as the mat, the toes touching, moving into our child's pose. Just for a couple breaths, I want you to wiggle your hips, get your belly right in between your thighs, and sink all the way down to the floor. Starting to push into the hands, bringing yourself all the way back up to that tabletop. Tuck the toes under, hips go up for your first down dog. So we're going to peel the feet right and left here. Get lots of opening and space into the hamstrings. On your next exhale, start to bend into the knees, look to the hands. Halter step forward, right into your inhale, halfway lift. 
Lengthen through the crown of the head, and we're going to do this two more times. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. I'm just going to hang out here for two breaths. On the next exhale, bend deep into the knees. Swing the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, hinge from the hips, folding all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step back, high plank. We're going to hold in high plank here for a few rounds of breath. Just to make sure everything's activated. Exhale, either lowering knees, chin, chest, or the elbows halfway. Inhale into up dog. And then exhale all the way back, down dog. Holding here for three rounds of breath. As you exhale, bend deep into the knees, look to the hands. Hopper step all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bringing yourself all the way up to standing. Arms reach up. Exhale, lowering the hands in the heart center. So we're going to move into our balancing posture for today, which is dancer's pose. So grounding through that left foot first, we're going to spread all the toes on that left foot. Then we're going to bring our right hand out as if you're holding a tray. You're going to pick up the inside of that right foot, and you're going to start to squeeze the knees together, opening up that right shoulder. And then you can reach up with that left hand. So slightly tucking the tailbone. Squeezing the knees together. And then you're just going to feel a really nice stretch in the front of the right thigh. And then you want to make sure that you're opening up that left shoulder as well. And your bicep is in line with your ear. So again, slightly tucking the tailbone will give you that extra stretch in the front of the right thigh. And then here's where you're going to start to kick into that back hand. Kick, kick, kick until you can't kick anymore. And then slowly you're going to start to tilt the upper body forward, reaching towards the front of the room. So try to keep that right hip in line with the left. It's going to have a tendency to want to pull up. So just try to keep your hips in line. Hold here for one more breath. And then exhale, slowly lower the hands, the feet, shape of the shoulder. You might get a little tingling in that right hand. And then we're going to work right into the other side. So spread those toes on the right foot. Bring out that left hand as if you're holding a tray. And then you're going to grab for that inner edge of the left foot. Squeeze the thighs together, the knees together. And then reaching up with that right hand. So here's where we're going to slightly tuck the tailbone so that we can get that really nice stretch in the front of the left leg. And again, if this is where your posture is at today, this is a perfectly good place to stop. Maintaining that inner strength and finding that strength in that standing leg. If not, you're going to start to kick into that back hand. You can't kick anymore. And then slowly start to tilt the upper body reaching towards the front of the room, kicking into that back leg, opening up that left shoulder, bring those hips back in line. Last breath. And then exhale, release, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Let's reset, inhale, reach up. Exhale, pinch the hips, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back. So here's where you can take that modified or full, lowering down, inhale into up dog, and then exhale back down dog. On the next exhale, lower the knees, toes touching child's pose. Just allow that heart rate to come back down. So 
whenever you're ready, just start to push into the hands, bring yourself to seated, and then all the way down onto your back. Hugging the knees and towards the chest, gently give them a little squeeze, rocking from right to left, releasing that lower back. And then, whenever you're ready, we're going to take happy baby. So bringing the bottom of the feet up towards the ceiling. Slightly humbling the chin, lengthening the, the spine through the crown of the head. And then bring your tailbone back down towards the mat. If your tailbone and your shoulders are fully engaged into the mat, you're just going to gently rock from right to left. Giving yourself a little bit more of an opening in those hips. Remember to keep breathing here. And just breathe right into the hips, the space of any tension or tightness. And on the exhale, just let it go. On the next exhale, hug the knees back into the center. We're going to open up the arms to either side and just gently allow them to fall over to the left, gazes over that right shoulder. So bringing in a nice, gentle supine twist here. Just winding out those internal organs. And remember, the only job you have here is to breathe in and out. On the next inhale, knees come to center, allowing them to gently fall all the way down to the other side. Gaze is over that left shoulder now. Seeing if we can just let go for one more breath. On the next inhale, hug those knees back to center. Take any last movement you need before resting into your final Shavasana. Tucking your shoulder blades under, palms come to face the ceiling. Slightly humble the chin, lengthen the spine. Allow the feet to naturally fall up to the sides. Taking two plunges. Closing down the eyes, softening the gaze, the forehead, the jaw. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, sink deeper. And just continuing with those nice full breaths. Feeling all that support the earth is there to give you. Bringing your awareness and your attention back to your breath. On the next inhale, filling the body with lightness and with energy. Bringing the arms up and overhead and stretching the toes forward, giving yourself that full body stretch as you exhale, hugging the knees and towards the chest. Gently rocking from right to left until you eventually make it all the way over onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow. Trying to remain with the eyes closed and just taking this opportunity to thank ourselves for coming to our mat today. And then you're in your head listing one thing that you're completely grateful for about your practice right now. Using that left hand to push yourself up into a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to heart center. As you inhale the thumbs up to the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows for right thought. As you exhale the thumbs down to the lips for true speech. And then finally back down to the heart for acts of compassion. Namaste, everyone.